Hello friends, this is Divya Goyal. Welcome to my channel Creative Study with Coding where we learn C coding in an effective way from day 1. In this video, we will be discussing 2 dimensional and 3 dimensional array type array name, row size, column size where row size is 0 to i minus 1 and column size is 0 to j minus 1. For example, int a44 is a 2 dimensional array and row size and column size is 4 that is 0 to 3 of type integer. In this array, we can store 16 values at their respective indices. Now, this is actual memory representation where values are stored at their indices. These are called values and these are called indices. The two dimensional array in C programming is also known as matrix. A matrix can be represented as a table of rows and columns. Now you can visualize two dimensional array easily by showing it in matrix. These are called rows and these are called columns. Since it is a matrix of 4 by 4, so there are 4 rows and 4 columns. Row 0 means first row, row 1 means second row, row 2 means third row and row 3 means fourth row. So similarly, columns are represented from 0 to j minus 1. 0, 0 means first row, first column. 0, 1 means first row second column 10 means second row first column and so on there are two ways to initialize a two dimensional array data type array name row size column size equal to values in curly braces although both the initializations are valid i recommend to use the first method because you can visualize the rows and columns of two dimensional array easily now let's see the syntax of three dimensional array data type array name number of arrays row size column size and in initialization of three dimensional array we can increase the curly braces so in int a244 we have two two dimensional array this is an example of two dimensional array in this program three rows and four columns are defined of two dimensional array that means total number of elements must be 12 here two for loops are used to show indices and these are the values at indices now let's understand this with the help of dry run. In outer loop i has initialized to 0 then it is checked is 0 less than 3. Yes it is true. After that inner loop executes till its condition is true. First of all i will initialize with 0 then it will be checked is 0 is less than 3. Yes it is true. Then printf statement executes and prints a00 equal to 1. That shows the value of first row and first column. Now plus plus j increases value of j. So j will be 1 now. Now, now 1 is checked is 1 is less than 0. Yes, it is true. Printf statement executes and prints a01 equal to 2. That is first row and second column. Plus plus j increases value of j which has become 2 now. Then 2 is checked is 2 is less than 4. Yes, it is true. Now printf statement executes and prints a02 equal to 3. Now plus plus j increases value of j which has become 3 now. now 3 is checked is 3 is less than 4. Yes, it is true. true. Now printf statement executes and prints a03 equal to 4. Again plus plus j increases value of j which has become 4 now. now 4 is checked is 4 is less than 4. No, it is false. This time it will terminate the inner loop and value of i will be 1 now. For i equal to 1, inner loop will execute 4 times, then terminates, then i will be 2. And for i equal to 2, inner loop will again execute 4 times, then terminates. After that i will be 3, this time 3 less than 3 gives false and outer loop terminates. In this way, it prints total 12 values on the screen. Compile and run the program. You may see the output over here and total number of elements are 12 at their indices. Now in this program that is same to previous one we are going to print the values in row column fashion. Now just look at the statements given in printf function carefully for row column printing. You can use two for loops used as in previous example try to do it yourself. If you have any query comment in comment box. As for loop is a best way to implement a program. Let's compile and run this program. Now you can see the output over here in row column fashion. Now let's see example of three dimensional array. In this example there are two two dimensional array of three rows and four columns and total number of elements are 24. Here three for loops have been used for taking input and three for loops have been used for accessing these inputs. 
ये फर्स्ट लूप हैज़ बिन यूज टू टेक नंबर ऑफ अरेज सेकेंड फॉर लूप हैज़ बिन यूज टू टेक इनपुट फॉर नंबर ऑफ रोज थर्ड फॉर लूप हैज बिन यूज टू टेक इनपुट फॉर नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स स्कैन अप फंक्शन विल अलाउ द यूजर टू टेक इनपुट्स फ्रॉम की बोर्ड फॉर आई जे एंड के सिमिलरली थ्री फॉर लूप्स हैव बिन यूज टू एक्सेस दीज एलिमेंट्स फॉर आई इक्वल टू जीरो जे विल एक्सिक्यूट थ्री टाइम्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू एंड के विल एक्सिक्यूट फोर टाइम्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री एंड दीज आर द वैल्यूज स्टोर एट देर रेस्पेक्टिव इंडिसेज एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वेरी वेल सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट ईजीली एंड फॉर आर इक्वल टू वन जे विल एक्सिक्यूट थ्री टाइम्स एंड के विल एक्सिक्यूट फोर टाइम्स अगेन दिन टर्मिनेट्स द लो एंड दीज आर द वैल्यू स्टोर एट देर रेस्पेक्टिव इंडिसेज कंपाइल एंड रन द प्रोग्राम नाउ यू कैन सी द आउटपुट फॉर हेयर देर ट्वेंटी फोर वैल्यूज स्टोर ऑन द स्क्रीन Thank you for watching the video do subscribe the channel like and comment in comment section and share it as many as possible so that your friends can also learn it take care and see you in next video